So ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This is an old museum and I wanted to show you these amazing decorations of a crocodile. The crocodile. <laughs> a prank. <laughs> Sam is saying, he's telling me that they can be alive so you can go near them and then uh, they jump over you. And I'm telling him, maybe that could be a prank. And then there is this ostrich. Very well done. The ostrich. The statues of an ostrich. Very well and nicely done. There are two. This one looks like a small one. Is this an ostrich? And you can see the attention to details how they are made. It's made out of cement. Cement and some wires. Yeah, one more time. This view and uh, over there, the other view of the two crocodiles. The two crocodiles look so natural. I the tail here it's cracked a bit but uh, nevertheless it looks so good so crocodiles this one is in the Kunming Museum so we go to China, China Mobile Company yeah. Okay. Yeah. This museum, <laughs> I wish to come inside for a very long time, but I've never, I never got the chance. But anyway, someday I'll come. It's yeah. okay. Yeah. It will be available after you come and visit. And they say for me it's free to access because I'm from this institute. Yeah, but what's it's Kunming Museum? Right? Hey, Dawi. Hi. Are hey, you coming on Saturday? For, for football? Football on Saturday? Yeah, at the ground. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I'm telling Dawi we have a football match on Saturday. He says he will come. Sam, will you come for the last football match? I'm not sure. Maybe if you get time. Yeah. Yesterday we played, uh, it was a very interactive game. Yeah. Although I'm told they have a local league. Local league? Yeah, they asked me to join them. But uh, maybe next year I will join them. They normally compete. So, among uh, here in Kunming, they have several teams. So they oh. form a league. So uh, they compete. Uh, among the students, uh, among the uh, different uh, institutes. I, I think different institutes. I think, yeah. Uh, so they combine, they play, and then after the league is over, the winner will be determined. Then next. The next season will begin after maybe two, three months. Yeah. Good, at least uh, through that you can get some good players. Yeah, yeah. Our talent is uh, yeah. fun. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I play for fun, but uh, somebody spotted me, the coach, uh -huh. and told me you need to join the, the team. Because he says I score so many headers. <laughs> but maybe next year I will, I will join them for some game. I play football for fun. So it's good, at least you remain out. Yeah. You see the street view in China. <laughs> this metal looks so old. Very ancient. <laughs> for the electricity. And maybe Wi-Fi. 
and telephone lines. And over there we have a very old car. This is a Chinese taxi called Digi. And uh, this car, very old, it's been turned into a marketing. It's a billboard or mini billboard. I'm trying to locate the location of China Mobile. Yeah. So I don't know whether I'm on the right uh, course or I've deviated somehow. Uh, yeah, so we deviated. We go this. Let's go back, yeah. We go up or we go. We follow uh, the road you are along. We're walking along the Nikoli. Oh. Okay. okay. I didn't zoom in and uh, because I was lying on the. The map that was not zoomed big, so I couldn't tell one piece of my map. Oh, yes, yes. The street view you know, and the houses. Uh, it's a different because, okay, Google is not, uh, is not working in China. Yes. But uh, following instructions using their own, with, uh, their own mobile software. Yeah, it's a bit <laughs> difficult. <laughs> if you don't know how to. Yeah. Actually, Google is not working in China unless you have a VPN. But they have their local Google Maps. It's called Baidu Map. Baidu Map. But it's all in Chinese, not in English. Oh, so for some, some, for somebody from outside like us, if you don't know Chinese. You could have a very hard time finding your way around uh, the first, uh, like for the first time, it will be challenging. Yeah, yeah. But as you get used to integrate around the community, yeah. you find uh, you will find a way. Yeah, eventually. it's uh, called Baidu Map. Yeah, Baidu Map. Baidu Map, and then you can other software as it was can help you to locate wherever you want. how it looks by do map all in Chinese so if you are not good in Chinese you'll have a very rough day finding your way I do map this is a street view and apartments on the other end so many apartments most of these apartments they look like a the the one opposite Chiromo, what's the name? GP GTC Global Trade Center. Hmm. Yeah, in Chiromo. It was it, it was built by the Chinese. And why do Chinese paint their trees white? I never know the reason why. Maybe that's to differentiate between maybe those trees that are. Uh, can be because these have been transplanted, mm -hmm. they've been brought from different areas, mm -hmm. and then uh, they just put here. Because uh, you know that to bring a good uh, or to help air regulation mm -hmm. in urban area, mm -hmm. because urban is part of the area, it's tarmac. Yeah. You know, tarmac and concrete areas they tend to increase the temperature. Mm -hmm. Of the urban here. We love trees, at least love some shade that can help uh, cool, uh, cool the climate, to cool the air yeah. around the city so, yeah. so that the people don't get uh, in heat stress in the south. Maybe they are painted white to help the tension between natural mm -hmm. and those that are the from yeah. So, but most of these are translocated from other places and mounted here when they are big. Yeah. yeah. We have some bamboos here. But also, maybe one of the reasons. Uh, do you think if they paint white, it can be a way of protecting it from the insects? Yeah, could be one of the reasons. Unless 
them protecting them protecting them from termites there. There's termites at the ones that I know that can cause damage. Yeah. But this urban area is really easy to get termites around. And also why it reflects light, so I don't know, maybe they save water that way. I don't know the reason behind that. <laughs> There's a car force building over here, but it was closed. Car force supermarket in China. It was closed actually. We're finding our way to China Mobile. And uh, this is the street we have to cross. On the bikes, the e bikes, a common mode of transport here in China. And here we have car 4, but it was closed. You can see it was closed on this old building. Car 4. And uh, this one is one of the modes of transport, the public transport. Right. And if you love snacks, there are snack shops around this place. So, Huawei, Vivo, Honor. Also, if you love bread, this is for bread. Over here is a barber shop. We are trying to locate the China Mobile to sort some issues with the SIM card. Normally, if you are an international or if you are from any country and you are traveling back to your country you need to sort issues with your sim card so that you see if you can operate your sim card in your country how the rest of this will be changed i'm lost should we go Places here, so you need to go back to the main road. Main road. Maybe you can cross. You can cross from here. No, this will be like a day walking. Let's oh. cross. Uh, we we'll go and then we we'll cross. Okay. 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 All Chinese buildings. Ah, it's not straight like Google. Yeah, if it was Google, we could have arrived. Yeah, it gives you kind of the straight direction. Then this one points to a different direction. Yeah. Once you point past that direction, then you have to go back and find your bearing. Jewelry shops. And clothing and shoes. So this is the bus I was telling you, the public transport. And most of these buses are electric powered, right? Yeah. Electric powered bus. We have some unique rides. We have the Jeep, Maybach, Maybach. yeah, it's Honda. Uh, this one is Beijing. Beijing is a brand of uh, vehicle company. 
and more of the e-bikes. So, even that one is an e-bike. Even that one. China is going green. Green energy. Yes. Goes to the other end. The school is well guarded. See the old Chinese buildings for the old Chinese apartments. It feels like an you are in the downtown. We're looking for the China Mobile. That's the type of businesses the Chinese do in the city. Yeah. 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 Chinese people love snacks so much. North line. I'll, I'll mark this place next yeah. time when I come in. Yeah. I can talk to one suit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they tend to have very unique suits. Sami is saying he will come try out the suits next year. Or next time. Yeah. Oppo and Vivo International Brands. So it looks like photocopy place, a hotel, electronic shop. But this is a dentist in the city, as you can see. And then this is a pharmacy. Pharmacy, Chinese pharmacy, Chinese medicine. You can see so many e-bikes. Most of these e-bikes you see are powered by electricity, so you have to charge. China is going green totally. Not totally, but they are on their way. And right about now, people are having lunch. So most restaurants are full. In China, people go for lunch at short uh, time at 11:30 up to two. Okay, so here there's another shop. No hotel. In China, people go for lunch from 11:30 to two o'clock. In my country, people go for lunch from 1 o'clock to 2 o'clock. So we only go for lunch for one hour in my country. But here they go for lunch for two, two and a half hours just for lunch. You can imagine. Two and a half hours. Here is a hotel. It's called Hanson Hotel. Hanson Hotel. Hotelia Hanson. 
and more e-bikes from May to an Richard May to an early one, early pay. The yellow one is from May to an green for early pay. No, green for Richard and uh, the blue bike is for Alipay. You can see the city is so clean. Gas beans all over. The city is clean. And we have a police station over here. We have a police station. <laughs> but the police have not gone for lunch. They need to be here full time. Because of our security. And here is a petrol station. You can see how unique the petrol is called Sinopec. Sinopec petrol station in China. Sinopec petrol station in China. The street is so clean, man. Eh? The roads are cleaned here. It's too far, we can take a bike. <laughs> uh, e bike. Uh, are you, can you scan the blue one? Uh, maybe you hot spot me. Uh, you can't use your mobile? I, my bundles are depleted, oh. so I need. Because it uses your phone, your GPS. So yeah. Yeah, yeah. Can you spot me? I buy bundles or internet. Okay, okay. Yeah. This is a shop for the e bikes. Here they sell the e bikes. Different brands. Different brands. Mine looks like this. E-bikes are very popular in China. It's a shop for the bikes, the electric bikes, e-bikes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Next time I'm going to be tempted to buy one. Yeah, but you are not a fan of bikes. <laughs> uh, I buy it for convenience purposes. Yeah. If you want to go, come come here. Yeah, yeah. Instead of spending 20 euros of time? Yeah, you just charge and come. Yeah. It's very convenient. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> Chinese people love to see foreigners. Are we almost or we have a yeah. stretch? Still some stretch. Okay. When we come back, we will, uh, we will buy bundles in there. Yeah, yeah. We can use the bike. Yeah. I've not ridden the e bikes in the city, so yeah. it will also be an amazing yeah, experience. Yeah, it's an experience, isn't it? Yeah. The last time, uh, uh, of course, I used them, I know. Yeah. It's not that I'm uh, afraid or have yeah. some problem. Yeah, yeah. Look at this bike. It's also powered by electricity. <laughs> it's so unique. In my country, we used to have a bike called Phoenix or Phoenix, depending on. Where are you come from? Do you remember it? Funny. Uh, there was Mamba. Black Mamba. Yeah, I know the Black Mamba. There was uh, Comerera. <laughs> there was Hirojet. There was Phonics. <laughs> which other which brand? 
only you know mountain bike are classified them as one. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. You know. <laughs> but I think the Phoenix was from China because that bike looks like the tires look like they are from Phoenix. Even the ones that we bought at home were Phoenix. Yeah. And you see the sewing machine, Shang yeah. it was in Shanghai, yeah. that was also from China. I'm trading some, some brands of the bicycles in our country were imported from China, like Phoenix, or also the sewing machine, it was there in Shanghai, the manual sewing machine, it was also from China. China. China, they are good manufacturers of so many things. You know what? Are we lost? No, no, we are on the same, doing the right way. Yeah. Uh, only that uh, I suspect uh -huh. this is the location I've been seeing on the road. Uh -huh. We might have some long distance so. Uh -huh. Let's just look around and find those bikes. They are not the good. Yeah. Yeah. Use yeah, yeah, sure. So I'm seeing only the blue and the blue. I'm seeing the blue. Oh, yeah. there's a blue. There's a blue one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We want to use the e bike. But there's just uh, one. Of, you know, I've never walked uh, in, in this street before. <laughs> even, even me. Usually you. Uh, yeah. Normal. Maybe this is the first time Taxi. to walk. Yeah. Well, come here, didn't you want time and want to relax? Yeah. It's this way. Okay, we cross first. But here they have only one bike. Or you can unlock this one. Yeah, there's a blue one. You also need a blue one for here. And then we will you yeah. we ride as you look for another one. <laughs> no, let's just go. Okay. Find them and another Another one. The blue one are in a high demand, right? Yeah, yeah, the LP ones. Alright, yeah. Alright, we check this and then there's another blue one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we scan this for you. Yeah. yeah, let me connect my hotspot. It doesn't have power. I'm just checking, I'm seeing. I think there's enough power. This screen should be able to uh, Let me see if I have some. I need to come here. You want to pay or scan? Scan? Have you ever scanned before? Uh, I tried once or, and I forgot. Maybe you can show me. There's a e-bike somewhere. Mm -hmm. Or on transport? No, it's supposed to be here. Hello bike. Hello bike. Yeah. Okay. Can you try it? You need to put a GPS on. Is it on? Uh, Location? I think it's should be on yeah. sorry sorry maybe just operate it you don't know where you're going my location Yeah, my location is on. Not on. Not on. This is the strike one. Is it the same? Is the VPN on? Yeah. I need to turn it off. I need to switch off the VPN.
loading very slow. My <laughs> my internet is very. Truck busy. Oh, I phone. I don't know why it's in the You have to scan this spot. This one. Once you scan the code, you can access the ebook. We can just go and call a taxi on our way back. Huh? I don't know what's happening. is loading so if it refuses we go by oh it has refused can you try using yours I yeah. see two bikes here can I open yours can I open two bikes or another try maybe it's both maybe let's try Because my system is a bit, uh, it says network busy. Transport. Hello bike. Lodi. Wow. Same thing is happening to mine. Same the same the same thing is happening to yours. Yeah. Loads up to ninety-nine. It's taking a new for a long hour it's there. Mine still says network is. I'll try to open two bikes and then you can be close to each other yeah. so that we don't go far. Okay. Mm -hmm. The sun is trying to open two bikes so that we use them. The bike is on now. <laughs> this is our number. Has it accepted too? Yeah. Seems uh, they're saying something here. Let me translate this in oh, the other okay. Maybe they say we can't do it. If they allow it, okay. Yeah, well, this bike. Yeah. Hello, bike. Mine is still loading. <laughs> Hello, what's up?
带好随身物品。Stand off. Since I have to, since you can't take uh, two, two bikes, go. yeah. So you can only spam one. Okay, let me sort this and then I'll continue. See you at the other end of the pack. Shut down. Shut down. Shut down. Well, today is misbehaving. Let me shut it down manually. Hello. So we are here at China Mobile. My app refused to check the e-bike request because it says network busy and we're coming here at the China mobile here and, yes. and China telecom oh, this shop is very rare to find yeah <laughs> located in my area yeah, <laughs> yeah. If you don't have a good eyesight and a uh, lot of help from yeah. Oido Map, <laughs> you, you will struggle. I think some my, my messages are coming in. Oh. Yeah. yeah. It just shows that you have internet. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. And uh, they have not gone for lunch, so at least we'll find their services. Yes, uh, you, uh, you ask them the feedback they'll give you, I think applies to me, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, Lee, before you travel to your country, you need to sort issues with your foreign mobile phone. So that when you're out, if your phone is connected to the bank or you need to do some transaction or you need to use it for mobile calls, messages, or anything online, you can access it at a very uh, efficient way, so it's good to sort them the issues first before you travel. So here we go, and uh, let's get sorted. We have to wait. China Mobile, China Mobile. So let's get the service and then we we'll continue from here. This is a auto in China. <laughs> 